Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at Sierra Chart and we're going to talk about how to customize the interface a little bit. There's a lot of things that we can do to really adjust it and make it uh, uh, suit our preferences or your trading styles. So if you take a look, I'm just looking at a regular uh, Sierra Chart window here. We have it open and um, you can see I have a chart book open. But if you take a look at the top of Sierra Chart here, you can see that we have a toolbar and we can do things here. Um, you know, like open a chart book, uh, find a symbol. We also have things like uh, enabling crosshairs. There's really a lot you can do with these. We can even change things like a uh, time frame. Uh, for example, I'm looking at a five minute chart. If I wanted to change to a one minute chart, I can just click on one of these options within my toolbar. But all of these buttons here within this toolbar are completely customizable. And we can even have things like multiple toolbars. Um, so we can actually customize this uh, really in a lot of different ways. We can do that using this window tab here. So I'm going to go to this window tab here and we're going to take a look at some of the options here for our toolbars. So if I scroll down here and I select toolbars, you can see we have a checkbox next to toolbar one and toolbar one is just the toolbar that happens to be uh, located here already set up uh, by default. But if we go back into that toolbars here, you can see we can choose from up to eight different toolbars here. So let's go ahead and check off toolbar number two here. So I went ahead and enabled uh, toolbar number tool, uh, two here, and you can see we do have a, a, an additional toolbar here, and it looks exactly like the first one. So um, since it just duplicated all of the buttons here, maybe that wouldn't help us a whole lot. But what we can do is we can actually customize this toolbar. So for example, uh, I actually already customized one, but we'll go on how to actually customize it as well throughout this video. Um, but if I disable toolbar number two here, and we'll add in toolbar number three, we'll actually customize a couple buttons. So if I select that, you can see I actually have a free floating window here, which is our uh, toolbar number three. So our toolbars don't have to necessarily be docked within Sierra Chart. You can have them as free floating windows. However, you can dock them at any time. So for example, all I have to do to dock this toolbar is just drag it up here and you can see uh, it'll change a little bit here. And then it will actually show up here within our toolbar. So for example, one of the buttons I have on my toolbar is uh, a five Renko button here. So I can switch to a five Renko chart here, a five minute chart. I also added some other options here to customize this toolbar. Um, so I added some additional options that weren't necessarily already on my toolbar. So uh, for example, this LOC button here will change my chart to a line on close button here. So I can do that at any time, of course, and then I can change it back to candlesticks using this candlesticks button. So you can add some kind of quick buttons. Uh, for example, if I wanted to reference a line on closed chart, I can do that just by adding this toolbar here and leaving it there. We also don't necessarily have to dock it in that position. We can dock it just about anywhere. So for example, I could choose to dock it under uh, my toolbar number one here. I can even dock it on the sides by just dragging it to the side here. And you can see I can move it as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be moved uh, just at that position. So you can really put it wherever you want to. I can also dock it at the bottom here. So any side here, the bottom or the top, uh, you can stack toolbars on top of each other here, uh, vertically or horizontally, and uh, we can rearrange them. For example, I can, uh, uh, of course, move my top toolbar here if I wanted to. And I can even uh, float my other toolbar as well. Uh, so that's one of the options. So uh, if we were to right mouse click here within toolbar number one, you have a few options. Uh, one of them is float toolbar and that brings it to kind of that free floating window here. And then of course I can dock it just by dragging it back up. But if I right mouse click here, I have some other options. For example, hide toolbar. So that's gonna disable that toolbar. And then we can go back here and then uh, enable it just by using that window and then toolbar section. So I'll select toolbar number one, you can see it shows up here. But we can also customize every single one of the toolbars and add and remove buttons and also add custom buttons that aren't necessarily on the default toolbars. And to do that, we're gonna right mouse click here and select customize toolbar. Uh, so in this case, I'm looking at toolbar number three. I'll select customize toolbar number three here and we have a window that opens up. And you can see all the different buttons that I have are already here on these selected toolbar commands we can add and remove them. For example, um, I have a five minute button here, but I also have a five minute button here on my toolbar number one. So I can remove that just by selecting it here and selecting remove. And you can adjust toolbar number one the same way that I'm adjusting toolbar number three here. I can also add in different options. So for example, we have some sections here. 
Um, uh, for example, if I wanted to add in maybe another chart bar period here, so I already have a five Renko, uh, maybe I want to add in another uh, time-based chart, but maybe I want to add in a three-minute chart since I don't happen to have one there. Uh, so what I can do here is I can scroll down here, I'll select custom bar period, I'll select add here, and then I'm just going to select that and I'll select the set period option. And from the set period option, I can just adjust uh, what my time frame actually is. So I'll select a three minute option. And then we'll select OK here. And you'll see that will adjust. I have five Renko, three minute line on close, candlestick, and I also have a duplicate uh, chart option here uh, for this toolbar. And again, I can uh, free float it here or I can drag it and dock it at any time, uh, at any, any uh, point here as well within the window. So uh, it's very easy to customize and you can have multiple toolbars. So I can have more than one toolbar if I wanted to. So maybe I'll dock this one here. Um, I can go to my Windows tab here, go to toolbars and I can add in a fourth toolbar. And uh, so what I could do here is uh, maybe have this on the right hand side. So there's really a lot of different options here as far as customization. You can float the toolbars here just by dragging them out. Uh, you can dock them to either side, top or bottom as well, and you can customize them as far as the different buttons uh, that you have on each toolbar to really make the interface your own. Uh, so thank you for joining this video today. If you have any questions regarding uh, customizing your toolbars or setting up your interface within Sierra Chart, uh, please feel free to give us a call uh, or send us an email.